Right now at 5.30, a car slammed into a deli in Westchester, but when first responders arrived, the driver and passengers were gone. Welcome back here at 5.30. I'm Maurice Dubois. And I'm Alice Gaynor. A deli that opened in Sleepy Hollow in April says despite the pandemic, business was booming. And then a car came crashing through the front window doing tremendous damage. CBS 2's Tony Aiello has the story. The owners of the Horseman Deli didn't count on having this mess on the menu when they took a chance and opened during the pandemic. COVID kind of taught us all that, that, you know, you just can't wait for things to happen. You have to make, you know, situations for yourself. So we opened up the deli and then this happened and it's, just, <laughs> it's still shocking and mind blowing. 3 a.m. Sunday, a sedan came crashing through the deli's front window. You can see a flash of flame. The force of the impact dislodged the engine, which fell to the ground. Investigators say the car hit a curb and a light pole, which caused it to flip over. It was bad and could have been worse. It was probably one of the craziest accidents I've ever seen. They missed two gas pumps by a couple inches, and they also missed the main natural gas line going into the deli. When first responders arrived, the car was empty. Police say the driver and four passengers fled the scene on foot. The driver later turned himself in and faces charges. The owners are customer-oriented by nature, and soon after absorbing the shock of this damage, they began to think about a catering order for a local church due 1130 Sunday morning. That's when the fire department came to the rescue. The fire department, it was very nice for us. They say, oh, you guys got to do some catering. You can use the equipment from the fire department. The deli owners filled the catering order using the firehouse kitchen. It'll take weeks to recover from this crash. They're determined to reopen ASAP. In Sleepy Hollow, New York, Tony Aiello, CBS 2 News. Sleepy Hollow police say after they fled the scene, several passengers were located at Phelps Hospital where they sought treatment for injuries.